welcome. Thanks for being here. The show so, is so racy. It is kind of racy, right? <laughs> but it's it's healthy. It's healthy to talk about sex. It I is. think it's very important. So you were one of those couples that wasn't having very much sex. Yeah. What turned things around? Well, let me just say, when we first met, we were having a lot of sex. We were doing everything but hanging from the chandeliers at one point. <laughs> You gave Kendra and Hank uh, a run for their money. We did. I mean, <laughs> we were in the car, we were in bathroom restaurants, you know, in the bathrooms at restaurants, you know, it was, it was scandalous. Right. We were hiding from people, so I totally understand. <laughs> And then what changed? I don't changed? know if we've gotten there. Um, well, two years after we got married, we were heavily involved in the real estate market and in the stock market. And when that crashed, you so did our, we took a major hit and so did our sex lives. No sex. So what turned things around? Well... <laughs> Do you want to answer? We actually uh, started therapy. It, it, it helped us. You coincidentally yes. worked with Simone. That's Thank right. God That's for right. Simone. She's because awesome. She's really, she helped me because I think I was more the issue because I was so caught up in the emotional aspect of losing almost everything. So I couldn't focus on our love life so much and our intimacy. But Simone helped me. Uh, realize that I had to separate the two and she helped me um, focus on the senses of, right. of right. how I felt for Anthony and, and how I had to trust him again because there was a lot of blame involved and he she helped me put things in perspective and so now how is your sex life great <laughs> it's, it's like night and day it's a complete 180 Wow and tell us about the seven days of sex oh wow <laughs> That was great. Yeah. It was actually a good thing. It helped us a lot. So that was a, that was a, a show you did. Yeah. Uh, you, you were a couple on the, a show on Lifetime. We right. did. And the plan was you had to have sex every day for seven, seven days. We were committed for sex for, for seven, seven days. days. That's right, right. And he it, was, you know, Was that up hard for to it? do? Initially, it was kind of awkward because, you know, to force it is, a, is kind of a, you know, it's who wants to force sex? It's a buzzkill. It should ha yeah, it should happen <laughs> naturally, right? Right. You should want it more. Yeah. But it helped put things into perspective where it's like, okay, we have this time, let's set it aside, we have the permission, let's go have fun and take these seven days and get back to the way we used to be when we first met. And what happened on day eight? Did you want to do I it again? I was exhausted. I want, <laughs> I want to day 10 and 20, you know, I didn't, let's keep it going. But it's really about a priority shift. It's like making the time for each other and right. that impacts the rest of your life. Right. Yeah, even Simone had mentioned once, even if you have to just take out time to compliment each other once or twice throughout the day and say, hey honey, you look great today or you're looking hot in those pants or something, something really nice and sweet. So can you give us some tips because I'm in my 40s. I mean, I, I I'm a newlywed, so things are good right now, but I'm sure, you know, down the road things happen. Um, is it not having the TV on at night? Is yeah, it that makes the difference. I think if you don't have the TV on and you take time out, and I know he comes home from work late at night, so I'll do special things at night to like set up the house or set up the mood. So you have to put that extra effort in. And, and usually, in the past, I was always expecting him to, to put, initiate. Yes, okay. to initiate it. Even though at times he would say, "It's time, babe," and I was like, "Oh my God, how many minutes is this going to take?" You know? Oh, really? <laughs> oh my God! But now you don't feel that way. No, I don't feel that it's way. It's not a chore anymore. Now it's just more, yeah. you know. It should never be a chore, right, no. Simone? Yeah. And one of the biggest tips that we can all do in our love lives when it comes to initiating is work out how to say no nicely to each other, so we feel safe to initiate. And whenever you initiate and do it take it in turns because that really levels it out when you initiate if you don't want sex don't force it but then say you know what honey you are my super strong gorgeous hunk of a lover i'm gonna see you here tomorrow night or saturday morning whenever is good always have that set up time okay that's good advice you guys are really they are a testament to like a healthy marriage that really is working mm, thank, thank you, you so much for sharing your personal details it's really really good to hear coming up a couple in crisis together more than 10 years and not having sex they are desperate to get their love life back but they say sharing a bed is not an option oh boy we'll meet them next